Have you ever, after the rain, suddenly your house becomes the venue for a grand reunion of Laron? It's like invitations to a meeting have been leaked to their entire colony. But why do they always attack the lights and keep going around like they don't have a goal? And what's even stranger, they only live for a short time before suddenly disappearing. Is this a natural phenomenon, or are they just forgetful? Okay, so these moths aren't actually animals that just appear randomly. They're the glow-up version of termites. After living underground for so long, they finally level up to find mates and start new colonies. But the problem is, they have the wrong focus. These moths actually want to look for natural light like the moon for navigation. But when they see the lights in your house, fix it. They immediately misunderstand and create an aerial concert. Well, once they are satisfied flying around, they will lose their wings and descend to the ground. This is the moment that determines their life. To meet a mate and become king or queen of the colony, or become an ant snack. Yes, sad but true. For ants and birds, moths are an all-you-can-eat buffet that comes down from the sky. So these mosquitoes are not only prey for predators, they are also part of a large food chain. They feed ants and birds, which in turn enrich the surrounding ecosystem. But it's not just ants who are hooked. In some areas, this moth is even used as a snack. Savory, high in protein, and they say, really delicious. Dare you try? But not all moths have tragic fates. Some of them manage to mate, burrow into the ground, and boom, they become kings and queens of new colonies that will last for decades. You can imagine, within a few weeks, the colony they lead can grow hundreds of times larger. So, these moths are not just temporary residents who come and go. They actually have an important role in the larger world of termites. Their life process is part of a very strict natural election. Colonies that successfully develop are those that are able to survive all challenges. Such as, for example, from ants and humans who like to snack on them. If these colonies are successful, they will grow and become a very powerful force in the ecosystem. They work together, improve the soil, and feed the trees around them. In a way, they are an important part of the natural processes that keep the environment in balance. And the termite queen, which was once a mole, will become the source of life for thousands, even millions of other termites. Imagine, in just a few months, one queen can produce thousands of eggs that will develop into adult termites. They are not just animals, they are a force of nature. So, of the hundreds of moths that invaded the lights of your house, only a handful managed to become big bosses in the underground world. The rest? Yes, they ended up in the stomachs of ants or became human evening snacks.